Yo, what's happening folks and welcome back to the HitLab Academy for YouTube with myself, Howie. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three reverbs that are stock plugins inside Logic Pro X that I think are really great. If you don't have access to all the high-end Valhalla or Capital Chambers or any of the UAD reverbs, these three stock reverbs will make the biggest difference for your final mix. The reverbs I'm going to be using today is Chroma Verb for two of the reverb styles that I'm going for and then I'm using Space Designer for the medium verb. But before we get into the video today where I'm gonna showcase these reverbs, I just wanna remind you guys to please head on over to the channel, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for instant notifications, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for the algorithm. And if you wanna get in touch with me, please go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za we can get in touch and maybe we can even work together from wherever you are in the world. But without further ado, let's get into Logic and let's have a look at these three really cool reverbs that'll hopefully make the biggest difference in your final mixing for lead vocals. Okay, so I have a very simple lead vocal over here. I'm gonna solo that out and I'm gonna play you the dry lead vocal. It's got a bunch of processing over there, like compressors and a bit of saturation, that sort of stuff, but I haven't actually got any send effects on it just yet. I've already pre-assigned my send effects and the reverbs that I'm talking about, so we're just gonna open them up, open the reverbs and have a look at them. But let's have a listen to the dry vocal in the meanwhile, and then we'll start applying these stock logic reverbs. I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. Okay, so the first reverb we're going to set today is from Chroma Verb inside Logic Pro X. And it is basically the reverb you'd want to use to just widen your lead vocal in the mix. So if you don't have access to like an AMS plugin or Slate's Repeater, which is like a vocal widener, then this technique should work for you and give you a similar result. So let's open it up and let's open up Chroma Verb and see what is going on. So before I play this reverb, what I've done is I've just removed a bit of the highs from the actual EQ within the reverb. Then I've set my distance to 50%, my dry is at 58% and my wet is at 100%. I've also set the size to 60% and I've set the density to 60% with a small pre-delay of eight milliseconds. That pre-delay is really important to create the separation from your actual lead vocal and the dry signal itself. And then the next very important part of setting up this chroma verb for this reverb wire Widener effect is to set it to 0.27 seconds of decay within the reverb. That is super short and you'll hear why in a second. So let's play that vocal with this essentially widener reverb effect going on. Let's have a listen. I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. And if I play without it, I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. It just adds a bit of excitement to that lead vocal. All right, and then for the next one, I've used Space Designer. And how I've set this up, this is designed to be a medium room style reverb, which is just a nice textural reverb for your lead vocal. And what I've done is I've set the pre-delay to zero milliseconds. I've got my length at 805 milliseconds. I've got my size to 100%. The, the crossover is 230 hertz. The low spread at 38%, high spread at 100%. The dry signal is muted and we just have the wet signal because it is a send effect. Let's have a listen to what this medium reverb sounds like. I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. And then if I add that short reverb to that, that widener reverb, I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. We're starting to get somewhere there. It's starting to sound really cool. But then the third and final reverb, I've gone back to Chroma Verb to create this reverb. And this reverb's got a little bit of a story to it. I absolutely love the Capital Chambers reverb. And when I heard Adele's Hello, which was mixed by Tom Almost in New York, I think he's based at Electric Lady Studios or somewhere there. I could be wrong. If you do know, please correct me down in the comments below. I heard this reverb and I found out later that 
that it was a Capital Chambers reverb that he had used on the song. And it had this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lush pre-delay, which gave the reverb so much size underneath the mix. So I've tried to recreate that reverb with Chroma Verb. Now, the first thing I noticed from the Capital Chambers reverb is that it was quite a dark reverb. So I removed all the highs over here. And then the first thing I did was go and put quite an extravagant pre-delay onto this reverb plugin at 184 milliseconds, which is going to serve as quite a big sort of pre-delay tail on the vocal which just really excites the vocal for me and adds size and everything to it then the next thing i've done is i've got my size at 60 percent my density at 60 percent and i've set my decay to a whopping 4.7 seconds which is huge for a lead vocal it feels like it is just rolling over forever but when you have a listen to it now in conjunction to what's going on in the track you will see that it actually just fills up all those holes when the vocal isn't singing so let's have a listen to this reverb over the verse I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me I'm just so happy it's not the end so that is really, really beautiful. I love big reverbs like that. And if I open up the other two reverbs with that, you'll have a listen to the result that we have come up with, basically just using stock reverb plugins within Logic Pro X. I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me. I'm just so happy it's not the end. Our you can hear in that gap that the that the reverb is just tailing all the way through until the next phrase comes in from the vocal. And now if I open this track up so we can hear this vocal with the music, you'll see it is really nice and there's nice characteristics within the reverbs themselves. I really enjoy Chroma Verb and Space Designer and I use them all the time despite the fact that I have Capital Chambers, Valhalla and a lot more. I just think these are really practical and handy and good sounding reverbs. But let's have a listen to the final result. <laughs> I step out in the cold air and I breathe a little life into me I'm just so happy it's not the end I reach out to hands in the sky I don't know why it feels so good to dream of you in bed I'm thinking of oh and yeah in your final mix, you can ride that big reverb to create all sorts of cool effects within the mix. Well, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way through to the end of the video. Once again, please like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za and let's get in touch. I look forward to making another one of these for you next week, guys. I hope you guys have a safe and good week and I'll see you soon. Peace.